So we have the official Pixel Plus UI based on Android 12 for the Redmi Note 8 users. After a long time, I'm making video for the Redmi Note 8 device. Pixel Plus UI is actually a very good kind of custom room available for a lot of devices actually. And I'm going to talk about some things which you have in a Redmi Note 8. Things which are working fine here. For example, how's the safeness status and maybe about camera section and a little bit of more things. So stay tuned and make sure to watch this video till the end. This is the default UI which you have by default. The default wallpaper looks good modern theming is here the version i'm using here is of course pixel plus ui version 4.3 maybe the new version is coming soon with the android 12 l support or android 12.1 version but right now it's based on android 12 which i'm making video right now android 12 is not so bad by the way it has the february security patch as i'm using it from approximately 24 hours so far so i didn't got any kind of major bug so far it's official one it's not unofficial build which i'm using right now the link is already available in the description you can move on and check out that including that as it is not actually android 12.1 but you have the android 12.1 related or kind of things available but it will not give you those interesting animations which you have in android 12.1 so yes this is the only thing which you have kind of disadvantage but the room seems to be good enough Moving on to the default camera section here, we have the MIUI camera by default available in this Android 12 base Pixel Plus UI. So it's not a bad deal. We have the 48 megapixel which will not give you any kind of error. I'm not sure if it is working fine here or not. But if you talk about some other modes in this camera section or in this default MIUI camera, what, we, what, what you have already installed or by default, the portrait mode is unfortunately not working. So keep this in your mind as portrait mode is not working here so yes you might need to use the gcam and a lot of gcam videos are already available i will try to make a video for 12.1 and 12.1 support to gcams very soon so stay tuned and make sure to subscribe my hindi channel also the link for that one is already available there we have the sickness status passed by without root as you can see i have the sickness status pass redmi note 8 pass safe net compatibility test I'll be able to use banking apps on my device without having any kind of issues and this is what you have verify root status. Let me show you as a lot of users told me that I have rooted my device sometimes or etc. If I have rooted my device I already show you that how I have passed the safeness status but in this case safeness status is passing without root. Now moving on to Google photo storage here. Google Photos also matters a lot if you are a user who use Google Photos on your devices like I sometimes use. So yes, as you can see, backing up from this pixel is free and unlimited. So yes, Google Photos unlimited, ba uh, unlimited backup is already included in this one. Now, if you move on to the settings panel and let's take a look at the settings things or changes which you have, we have the Xiaomi parts already included. If you're a Redmi Note 8 user and looking for the Xiaomi parts, it's there. So this might be a very good choice for you. As if you love to use Mi Sound Enhancer with all those presets and headphones type, then you might need to use the Xiaomi parts. It's already included. Same kind of thing with that. If you move on to the security section, as expectedly, face lock, fingerprint lock, app lock, everything is already included. So yes, this might also be a positive thing about this one. The device is encrypted, so this also gives you uh, maybe another layer of, layer of privacy. Might be a very good choice for you. Wallpapers and styles, and if you move on to the monet settings, it's there. The monet theming is working perfectly fine. By the way, you can customize the monet settings for sure. Uh, you can customize that you need to open the pixelizer for that that's also included in this pixel plus ui version 4.3 let me tell you one more thing if you move on to the battery sets you can wipe the stats if you want to take a look at that how the battery is going on for you in my case battery backup seems to be decent enough i'm not saying it's great but it's not that bad either it, it might be not a bad choice for you moving on to the monet customization as i just mentioned monet customizations which means some better options like you can use a custom color if you don't want to use a wallpaper based theming some status bar customizations include some basic options quick settings also has basic options buttons has basic kind of things not a major customization based custom room but a very good choice for you so these were the things which i just want to let you know about this latest pixel plus ui version 4.3 based on android 12 if you want to install this thing link is already available in the description so make sure to check out the description and make sure to join our telegram updates channel for more information thanks for watching as always i will see you in the next video until then goodbye
over the edge Feel like I'm floating through 